choosing the right LMS is not an easy task, especially because it does not only impact the performance of the content being delivered, but the consequences of a poor decision are passed to the final user that we're supposed to make life easier. According to some rubrics, Schooly was a great contender among other evaluated LMSs. For this project, security was a top priority for our users. Schoology has been awarded with some security certificates such as the Trusty's Privacy Seal and the Children's Privacy Seal, and also the UE Safe Harbor Framework set by the United States Department of Commerce. Reliability was another rubric that Schoology met. We also needed that the LMS must be compatible with many other platforms since our courses need to be designed for multiple operating systems and devices. Easiness was another important concern that we had since our WaterBot course only lasts 4 days. We needed to provide a fast access. The solution that Schoology offers is a course code that the user will need to enter in order to be enrolled. The topic of the content is to deliver an introductory course in underwater robotics based in the engineering design process followed by NASA's engineers. The objective is to provide the students with previous background knowledge and troubleshooting analysis skills before the construction phase. At the end of the training, the learner will be able to correlate the training safety procedures with real-life situations to avoid accidents. In addition, the learner will be exposed to the ROV vocabulary and basic knowledge of the equipment that will be utilized before even opening the kit. The training will provide a basic sorting course for beginners so that they know what good and bad sorting looks like. This allows to prepare the learners for auto assess the quality of their sorting technique. And finally, to familiarize the learner with the pieces and the building process is another objective in the list. This lets speeding the manufacturing process, allowing more time to test, troubleshoot, redesign and evaluate and eventually have fun doing several challenges and activities once the RV project is completed. Our learners will be students between 12 to 16 years old and educators interested in STEM education. The ROV virtual training will help achieving one of the program's goals, which is to encourage the students to pursue education and careers in STEM, thereby filling the pipeline of highly skilled technical workers which will fuel future innovation. This information will be used in summer camps and staff developments throughout the year. We will know if the learners meet the objectives if they are able to name the equipment that they are working with, if they exhibit good safety practices during the four days of the course, if they are able to evaluate their own performance during the sorting phase, and if they are able to make troubleshooting analysis related to the kit. For the Captivate instructional module, the content is divided in five sub-courses or missions. Knowing the equipment, soldering safety, soldering techniques, manufacture and troubleshooting. What has been created was the instructional module and what needs to be created are assignments and maybe to split the Captivate module allowing a flipped instructional model to enrich the user's experience by creating electronic journals, posts and videos. If the course is divided, there will be only a synchronous communication between students and the instructor. The synchronous communication will be face-to-face -face during the camps at this time.
One attractive asset that Schoology has to offer is the capability to give badges. This benefit extends the gamification strategy that the Captivate module offers to our users.